Well, hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we're going to unbox the Harry Moore camera for theater. I have done a video about a Harry Moore uh, camera bird feeder in the past and I'll put a link to that video in the description. Uh, this bird feeder uh, has been changed up some. It's a little bit different from the one I have out there that I'm still currently using. And uh, well, without further ado, let's just get right into the box. So as I said, this is Harry Moore Smart Bird Feeder with camera and it's battery and solar powered. You can watch birds on your phone anytime, anywhere. Identify over 10,000 bird species. Get to know over 10,000 plus bird species from around the world. Use the app to find more detailed information about the birds. Solar panel charging it has built-in rechargeable battery and solar panel ensures continuous charging and uninterrupted bird watching. Eco-friendly housing design is waterproof design and sturdy stainless steel bracket as well as UV resistant ABS plastic provide the birds with a very reliable and safe habitat. I, uh, definition video, watch HD videos on your phone anytime, anywhere and learn about the lives of the birds. Bird discovery notifications. The app will automatically notify you when a bird lands in front of the bird house, capturing shy and alert wild birds in unique close-up shots that showcase their personalities. You will never miss any feathered visitors. It has a two-way voice intercom. You can hear the birds' voices when you discover squirrels or other intruders. Just talk to them to keep them away from your bird feeder. You can share with family and friends so that they can also watch adorable birds. Footage anytime. Uh, and it shows a few of the birds that they can identify. And uh, another thing about the... I actually have more than one of these. But uh, another good thing about these, not only is it capturing your birds when the birds land in front of it, it also has a motion zone if you uh, uh, subscribe to the, the app for this. You can set a zone, and if anything moves within that zone, it will start recording it. So this also works as security. Uh, I can see everything that goes on in my backyard. If anything comes into the backyard, I get a notification on my phone. So if I'm away from the house and there's something going on in the backyard, I'm notified. I can pull up the camera. I can watch it live or I can watch the video that it recorded. So uh, it is also a security uh, function to have in your yard. Plus you get the uh, ability to view all the birds that visit your yard. And in the box, what you're going to find will be the instruction book. You're going to find the diagram to put on the pole. If you're going to hang it on the pole, you stick this to the pole, you'll know where to drill your hose. This is the big heavy duty stainless plate that you use to mount the birdhouse with, or the bird feeder with. You have your antenna, mounting screws, USB uh, plug, the reset key, a screwdriver, and a strap. If you choose to strap this to a pole or around a tree, you can do that. There's different mounting functions that you can do depending on your circumstance. Now we have the bird house, or I mean, bird feeder. We'll go more over this in just a minute. Let's get everything out of the box. This is going to be the bottom and the stand. Okay, now 
The solar panel is on the front of this one. This is your fill slot where you will fill with bird feed. This is going to be where you will hook your antenna so you can receive your 2.4 gig Wi-Fi signal. This is the antenna and it just will screw onto the back of this. This moves in case you need to get a little bit better signal. Okay, let's see what's in this box here. This is your hummingbird feeder. So these are your accessories for feeding hummingbirds. Uh, you put jellies in here or, or water and then you have a actual fruit stakes that you could stake pieces of fruit on. Pretty much like that, put the little flower back in here. For the hummers to come hit. But uh, you'll put all that on after you get it mounted. But I'm just showing you how that stuff goes on there. The stand is already mounted to this. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Get it good and tight there. And then your lid will catch in the back. That holds that up. And you see your camera is right here and it pivots this is going to mount to the back side there and I'm sure that's what this screwdriver Some of these screws right here for. Should be these three shorter screws that are in the kit. Now, as uh, stated before, this is your mounting plate bracket. And you have this wing nut here. So you'll mount this to your 4x4, your tree. They have some screws where you could screw it directly into your wood. If you need some mollies, they provide some mollies, and then you can use the screws into the mollies. Or you take the strap and you go through the slot so you can strap this to a pole or a tree. And we're going to show more on mounting later. This is basically just the unboxing and how you would put it together. And then after you have this mounted, you would mount 
your bird hat or your bird feeder to this using this wing nut. And you'll be able to pivot this if you need to a little bit to put it at whatever angle you want it. And then like I said, you have your extra little options here if you want to put them on the, the feeder in different locations for whatever you might be doing. We are going to plug our camera into an outlet and go ahead and charge the battery fully inside. It does have the solar cable already mounted to the camera. You can see it plugged in here. You could plug auxiliary solar panels in if you wanted to. But you could also plug your cable in here. And then plug this into your power block to charge this camera battery fully. And I believe that's pretty much it. For the unboxing and how this goes together it's quick and simple and we will do a, a mounting video uh, very soon so stay tuned for that and uh, we'll show you more about setting up the camera getting the app the free app downloaded and uh, a little more on the instruction part of it but yeah uh, Harry Moore camera bird feeder. This is very nice. I've been using one for quite some time. I would have to look back at my video to see exactly when I got that one. But it's been out there for quite a while through Texas summers. Uh, I believe we had it through the winter. And uh, everything's still working great on it. The solar's still working great. The panel's looking good. All the plastic on it is looking good. And if things work out right, I will have uh, some birds visiting it on in this video behind me. And that will be the older uh, Harry Moore bird feeder. And uh, it has a separate solar panel that is mounted on the back. And then it has a smaller one on the, the roof. And uh, this one just has a really big one on the roof. So I'm sure that's all you're going to need to keep the battery charged and uh, keep you viewing birds and activity that are in the vicinity that you have designated for your camera. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stick around for the next video to come on this birdhouse and uh, we'll mount it up, get it set up, and start showing you what the birds look like when they visit it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check the description for any links to this bird feeder here and thanks for watching.